Good afternoon. My name is Jalen Gomez, and I'm a student of the Fundamental of Oral Communications class. Today, I would like to talk about my unforgettable experience. Traveling is one of my favorite things in life, and last year I fulfilled one of my dreams, the dream of visiting New York. New York is one of the most famous cities in the world. Every year, more than one million people visit the city. And when you're born in an island like me, with a government with a lot of restrictions like Cuba, the dream of traveling is feels far away and impossible. Uh, that's why to have the opportunity of being in that magnificent city means a lot to me. My first day in New York was the day that I have been waiting for years. The day that I visited the Statue of Liberty. When I was a child, my grandma used to tell me about her fascinating experience at the Statue of Liberty, and I grew up with the dream of visiting one day. She always said to me, Mima, you have to go there one day, and you cannot forget to go all the way up to the statue to see the flame. It's the most impressive part, and it really was. I could, Im I could imagine her walking in that place with the same enthusiasm and happiness that I had that day. I felt very nostalgic for not having the opportunity to share my experience with her because she passed away five years before. But I live and I enjoy that moment as if she were there with me. Next stop was at the observatory at the Freedom Tower on the floor 100. At the beginning, it was really scary because it is the most, it is the tallest structure in New York. But there, I saw the most beautiful sunset that I have seen in my entire life. The observatory was 360 degrees around, and I had the feeling that I was flying when I saw through the window the sky in front of my eyes. The sunset was full of colors, like a palette. And I could see the I, I could see how the sun hides through the sea. I took a lot of pictures of that sunset, and I was standing in the same point for more than two hours, watching the changing of colors of the sky until it got dark. That experience was really amazing and unique. The Brooklyn Bridge, the Rockefeller Center, the Fifth Avenue, the Chrysler Building, and Chinatown were also part of my trip. And I really enjoy my time there too. My last stop before going to the airport was in Little Italy, a very colorful place with a lot of terrace and Italian with funny accents walking on the street, inviting you to go inside the restaurant to try the delicious food. And it really was. I had there a tasty pomodoro bruschettas and the best pasta bolognese that I tried in my life. Also, there, I try a really interesting chili from Sicilia, Calabria. They call it peperoncino. Since that day, I buy it to cook at home every time. It's really tasty and delicious with almost all plates. If you have the opportunity of visiting New York, don't miss it. New York is the city when the dreams come through and have been there is one of the most unforgettable experiences of my, of my life. My visit to New York exceeded all my expectations, and some moments I thought that I was in a cinema because it was difficult to me to believe that everything that I saw, it was real. Thank you so much.